Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. From home, honey. Well, hello again, everyone. You might have noticed that I'm driving in the ambulance. Uh, for those of you that watch our channel, I bring this vehicle out usually when I'm on a big job. And today I'm doing a garage clean out. Now it's not a whole lot of stuff, but the deal was okay. It was, uh, if I clean this stuff out, I get whatever is in there for free. Um, basically my expenses are gonna be my time and the cost of a dump bin, uh, which is about $350. So for a $350 investment for a dump bin, everything else is just kind of um, on top. Now, I don't know if there's gonna be anything worthwhile, but we're gonna go dig through and see exactly what I got. So follow along in today's episode as I empty a garage and look for treasures. Ambulance is ready to go. I kind of had to monster truck up on the uh, back dirt here a little bit so that we could leave enough access in the alley. We've got a uh, bin. I tried a new company, been there, done that. They were about $50 cheaper or so than 310 dump. and. It's not a whole pile of stuff this go around. It's just a small little selection. Well, I say small, like for most people, this is probably a lot of stuff, but um, a good majority of this probably isn't going to be usable for my store. But I've heard that there might be the occasional old toy in the mix here. And as I look at some of the bins and boxes, I already see there's some promise and potential old transformers, maybe. That's the one that turns into the uh, little cassette player, little boom box, can't remember his name. It's probably, knowing the 80s, it's probably named something like Boombox. Um, my goal right now is to try and get as much in that bin as possible so I can start uh, seeing what I have to work with in terms of good sellable items. Um, we have all this all around here to deal with too. Oh, it's going to be a little bit of work today, but uh, you know I'm always up for it. And certainly some of this stuff can probably go to charity. This is just empty boxes, nothing, nothing even in there. So there's no point hanging on to that. Let's double check. Make sure this is empty. I'll throw it out and find out it was full of like $20 bills. That's just garbage. Um, the shelf probably is not gonna be very usable for anybody. Charity might take it, but it's pretty beaten up. So it may just go. But I do see, okay, on the umbrella. I can use this at the store. I was actually thinking about drilling a hole in my picnic table outside and putting an umbrella in there. So now I'm gonna have an umbrella. Um, so I'll throw that in the ambulance. I still start making my pile here. One thing that actually was kind of exciting, we'll go through the boxes and stuff pretty soon, but it was that I get to keep this. And Melissa will be happy about this. We actually, uh, <laughs> we needed a barbecue and uh, this barbecue goes with the stuff in the garage and it's a decent uh, KitchenAid. Needs a little bit of cleaning, but nice little KitchenAid barbecue there. That is gonna help uh, offset the cost of this unit big time. I don't even know if there, is there a propane tank in it? Yes, there is. It even has a propane tank in it. That's a pretty good little score right there. I'll make sure to load that up before too long because we can use that right away. Yeah, little electric lawnmower. With cord. Okay, let's see what we got. Empty box. We'll keep that for putting stuff in. This is the cover, I think, for that chair over there. I will keep that aside because we could probably use that. Another empty little shoe box. There it goes. Let's see. A towel, a dirty towel. Well, so far, not a whole pile of stuff. We'll keep digging. 
something in this garbage bag. Oh, let's see. It is a, a shot back. Oh, that's always a handy thing to have. They probably bagged it up so we keep everything together. Perfectly good usable piece right there. Now let's see. Bag of empty boxes. Garbage. Let's see what's underneath. There is a snowblower, gas powered three horse snowblower. Don't need it on a day like today, but again, that's a nice little garage find. Shovels even, it's a good steel shovel. There's all these boxes here too. That one has stuff in it, let's see. Carbon monoxide alarm. Lots of candle holders and candles. Dishes. A little variety of things, nothing too exciting in that box. Online investor's advantage. Okay, what's this thing? <laughs> well, there's your first trouble. Anybody who's selling you an online investing five-step formula on VHS is definitely not doing things right. I mean, granted, this is from 1999, but still, when you're talking about investing online and you send somebody a bunch of VHS tapes, that feels a little bit backwards, doesn't it? <laughs> the rest of this appears to be um, mugs and cups, somebody's spider collection. <laughs> Number one babysitter, maybe things left over from garage sales that had a price at a quarter. Don't see anything too crazy good in here. Ashtray. Let's see. Ocean Bridge Company. Some kind of little bowl or pot. And Acme Math Set. Some books. I'm going to guess they're Harlequin Romance kind of books. Yeah. For sure they are. Nope. I'm totally wrong. Coffee, tea, or me? The Unhibited Memoirs of an Airline Stewardess. Well, that didn't age well. <laughs> Slightly sexist nowadays, I guess, but uh, okay. A bunch of books and stuff. Copro, what do we have? Chef Bordeaux, the original nonstick barbecue tools. Look at how excited he is. He's excited just to be named Chef Bordeaux. <laughs> uh... Oh, that's a good find. A bunch of um, sealable mason jars. Woo! Almost dropped it. That is actually a good score because we do a lot of uh, canning and preserves at our house. The trees around our property make jams and jellies with them. Those are gonna come in awfully handy. I'm gonna have to bring those back to Melissa. Another box from the top shelf. We got some shoes. These look like moon boots. Star-like play sport. Made in Italy. Sometimes shoes can be quite valuable. Like these look like Doc Martens. In fact, made in England. Yeah, Doc Martens. These are vintage Doc Martens in blue. Those are actually good sellable shoes even now. Too bad they're not, you know, a normal kind of size. They're a little bit smaller, but those are collectible. And look, even better yet, look what's in the bottom. Bum ba bum. Look, they were trying to get. 20 bucks for this thing and they didn't sell it at the yard sale. Lucky for me, Nintendos are actually quite collectible now and it has a bunch of the games too. Gromite or Gromite. Uh, Super Mario 3, Rad Racer. Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt. Those are the ones that usually came with it. WrestleMania. Ghosts and Goblins. We got a whole bunch of Nintendo stuff. That's a good score. Let's see, this one says... Books, Lego, etc. Well, this is a good start already. That's uh, part of the box lid for one of the very first Lego castles. And little kid books in here. Oh, look. This is a real rider's Hot Wheel. Has rubber tires on it. It's worth maybe about 10 bucks or so. But look. Ba -ba -ba -ba! Woohoo! There is a uh, original Lego castle in the original box. 
that's a really good collector's piece. And a bunch of little Lego figures in this bag here too. The horses. The game pieces. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, look, that's part of the box in the original castle. Maybe I'll find some more Lego in here. Okay. What do we have here? It looks like a bunch of garbage, but there are some comic books in here. Batman, Pink Panther, nothing too old, but sometimes you get a first appearance of somebody in one of these books and it can really add to the value. We'll dig through this and see if there's anything else in here worth pulling out. Another little stack of comic books. Spider-Man. 1990 skateboarding magazines. Box. Oh, those are nails. Tiles, building materials. Croquet set. Who doesn't like playing croquet? Put that over there. Let's see. Clothing. Looks vintage. Miss T. Well, I don't know if there's going to be anything super collectible in here, but I do know I might let uh, my friend Angela over at Swish be the judge of that. I might just give these to her, see if she can do anything with them. Yeah. Wow. Old school cell phone. I remember using one of those. <laughs> It's a big sucker. It's a Kodak instant camera. It's little tins. Hat with a whole pile of pins on it. A little recipe box never opened. Tins with nothing in it. Stowaway. Oh, it's one of these um, international kind of plugs. Hopefully we can travel again soon before too long. Should be good. Paperwork and books. What is this? Tandy portable word processor. That would have been high tech at the time. Not so much now, but still kind of cool. Box full of old purses. Snakeskin. Some vinyl sort of stuff. Mm. Bottles, I guess there's recycling. You see that was a mouse nest in there. Got down to the bottom, it's mainly just car tires. Whole pile of other boxes to sift through. Uh, kitchen stuff. We'll hope that there's some other decent things in here, but it's really hard to tell at the moment. Fragile from wall unit. More clothing. There's no lack of clothing here, that's for sure. I've got a long way to go, and this dump bin's already getting pretty full. I'm having some concerns that everything won't fit, but most of what I have left here is either gonna be for the shop or for charity or to bring back on another day. And I'll have to come back again, probably tomorrow or the next day to get this wrapped up because there is an awful lot of stuff here. But, you know, there's a few little jams hiding around, like this 80s Gremlins thermos, or the early 1900s encyclopedia set. Um, but whether there's gonna be enough to make this all worthwhile, that's still yet to be determined. Okay. Crazy little stuffed animal. This AM radio phonograph. Maybe a little kid's record player. Oh, I recognize that outfit. That's an original Michael Jackson doll right there. <laughs> I'd just be sitting here playing with dolls on camera if I'm not careful. Some little board games. Is that the Gremlins lunch kit? No, it's not. Looks like there's some uh, stickers on the outside. It's full of something. Oh, it's full of crayons. That checks out. <laughs> okay. I am a little disheveled because the darn barbecue didn't fit in the back of the car and I had to dismantle it. 
is not a tidy job and I'm also running out of time. I'm supposed to go pick up some other stuff, but I'm gonna grab a few things from today, like the box of toys, the Lego, the Nintendo set, and put those in the car. I'll come back for the rest of this stuff in the next day or two when I have a little more time. Hopefully I can convince Melissa or maybe Josh or Hans or somebody to come too. Maybe there's some things they can recycle in here for themselves. I was leaving for the day and I get to the end of the alley and it's closed which sucks because I got to turn around. But look what's at the end of the alley. The guy's got a whole bunch of early 60s Dodges. And these are the exact style that people like to put the Max Wedge engine in. I am, don't worry, I don't think I'm going to buy them. But, you know, geez, potential, that's what I see. Rust, probably another thing I see. But that could be a cool car in the right hand. As for the barbecue, well, that came home. We needed a barbecue. So this worked out kind of perfect for us. Um, and you know what? You cleaned up half decent too. So next morning, I'm gonna head back to the garage and try and finish some of the cleanup there today. The one nice thing about bringing the car back home is I was able to clean it up a little bit, get it washed up. And I haven't done the interior in a while and it was getting pretty nasty in there. After years of hauling stuff around and clearing out houses, uh, there was like sludge in the back. But I even took time to wax the floors, looking all shiny and clean back here. Now to go fill it back up again. Okay, so this morning the plan is to try and get as much stuff over to uh, charity as possible. Um, there's a little bucket of jewelry and stuff in here which might be worth having a closer look at. Costume jewelry, but Occasionally you get a silver piece in the mix there. I think that's 925 silver. So probably worth having a little bit closer look at this before it goes out the door. I might separate that one out. And, uh, you know, still find the occasional vintage Hot Wheel. But really just, it's final sorting. I want to get done today. So we've got the Hot Wheel. Little oiler car. That can go. This can go. Kids' headphones uh vintage lego dude that can stay some of these pieces were probably missing from that lego set that i picked out the other day some pennies guess i want to do another penny counter i guess okay a lot of this can probably go a few little salvaged items well an ambulance full off to charity um, we had a dumpster full leave yesterday of just empty boxes and garbage and stuff. Um, sometimes I feel like when we do these projects, we're just picking up where somebody meant to let leave off, you know, getting their garage cleaned up for them. A lot of times it's after the fact, as is the case here, or the person has passed away. Um, you ever had the feeling when you drop stuff off at charity or like you donate that <laughs> it's almost like you're reverse robbing a bank? Like you drop it and you're like, go, 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 go. Cause you're afraid that they're going to look through the boxes and be like, nah, take your junk back. <laughs> That's how I feel. Sometimes you drop something off and you're like, I don't want it. And I don't want it back in my car. <laughs> I've had that happen a few times where you go to drop off at a certain location, doesn't take furniture or something. And then they're like, you got to take it with you. It's almost like I'm giving it to you for free. You don't want it, but I'm glad that uh, these guys took everything. That's one big load off of my mind today. Now I'm starting to load up the things that I think I can use, like the snowblower, the shop vac, the golf clubs, which I can sell, the antique sewing machine. Uh, probably take the lawn chairs. I was looking at these tires, which have to go, and they look decent. They're uh, ice rated winter tires with uh, lots of tread on them. So I will haul those back too, good sellable item. And uh, I've got Hans and Zenovia coming too to see if they want any of the tools or things, things that are on the back there. I'm just waiting for them to show up and uh, we'll kind of go through the rest of it. Oh, a big giant conch shell. In good shape. Didn't even have to go to the ocean to get this one. Wonder if you can make a horn sound out of it. Sometimes you can blow into these things and make a, a good toot, get a good sound 
bring that over to the shop. People like to decorate those guys. Well, we'll take these to our friend out at the farm. He collects a bunch of this stuff, so we might as well give it to where it's going to have to go. Well, I'm glad you're not tired this morning. Uh, those are going to go off to Charlie, yeah, who helped me move the Valiant the other day. Um, because he's always got trailers, little cars need a tire, so extra tires will go there. You said you found a couple batteries over here. Well, yeah, those I'll put into my recycles. Yeah, so you get about 25 bucks to recycle a battery, so that's 50 bucks right there just in recycling for Hans. We're just gonna, we're basically just at the point where I'm gonna give you guys whatever the heck you want. So, um, have a look around and we'll try and empty this out. Oh, these weed whackers can go, you can have those if you want. Those are always good for reselling or reusing or something. So yeah, we can put them in like a garage sale. Or something. Yeah, sure. So uh, yeah, let's just get the stuff all tidied up here, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll but, call it a day. And I just need, we just need to know. Basically, you say declutter. this this area in here. Uh, this stuff's gotta basically go, uh, whether it's garbage or whether it's uh, recycle or whatever. Uh, some of this is empty boxes, so that it looks worse than it is. But I was going to use the boxes to fill. You know, I did find myself an old oil can when I was digging down there. And there's a somewhat decent looking little portable barbecue. Like a, a cat barbecue. Well, there'll be some stuff that's salvageable in here. I can't quite figure out what this stuff is for. Huh, you might say I'm stumped. Run the garage over. I saw. Good thing we got the door open. She just fly right through. Uh, Hans is and Zenobia back in the truck up now. All this stuff the the owners wanted to clean out themselves. So we're not touching this. Our area was from that wall all the way over, and you can see it's almost done. We are going to leave them their screen door and the construction materials for, they might need to use for repairing the house. Hey, a boom box. Now I can listen to noise. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so my car is totally full. We're going to try and load up the rest of this into Hans's truck and then hopefully we'll be done. And just like that, our side of the garage is well, pretty well good to go. Whole pile of stuff. Didn't find a ton of great treasures, but Melissa and I did need a barbecue and that kind of made it worthwhile. Hopefully there's some stuff in there for Hans and Zenobia too, but that's, um, three, two of their truck loads plus two ambulance loads, plus a whole dumpster full, just out of one corner of a garage. It's surprising how much stuff you can fit into a little space like that. I'm so glad that uh, it's emptied out. This gentleman can move on and not have to worry about cleaning up, at least in this area. So thanks for watching today, guys. Um, <laughs> just a fun little episode, finding a few little treasures along the way. Make sure to subscribe and tune in for more. We'll see you all soon and bye for now.